Hi and welcome to my strategy series. Today we will be reviewing the E100. I already did this review but I only did like a couple of battles then and back then I said it was a really stupid tank but now I deleted the video and now that I tried a couple more battles I started to like this tank. This tank is actually a great tank for me. It's even better than the I7 here. Um, for I think it's great because of the gun. Of course, and most people say it's it, it, it's gun is horrible, but it's got a buff in the past. Um, I think it was um, in the past this was around 220 millimeters of penetration. That was just too short. But now it got buffed to 235, and now it actually can penetrate some things, and it uh, and it has more HP, uh, 200 more HE points, HP. Sorry, um, but more about this tank itself, this tank is just, it's very big, it's really big and that's a big con of it and it also has a, a big weak spot but it's pretty easy to to hide this weak spot and sloping, if you, if you are a little bit experienced in this in this game you get you may know that you can slope tanks and if you slope this tank like if this is your E100 and you slope it like that so the enemy sees you like this then they nearly can't penetrate you even the hill they can't, can't penetrate and that's that's what what the most people don't know if you try to slope this tank this tank is so awesome it's 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 just great and more about the radio and engine. It it has a good engine, of course, but this thing this thing weighs a lot. Like 150 kilos is a lot, and th that's why uh, it needs a big engine. But it's pretty fast though. It goes around 30. It's faster than my M6 here. It's only a tier 8 and has a tier 10 engine also. Um. But what should I recommend for you to use on consumables? Um, I'll be I'll um, I'll say more about this tank itself in battle. I'll be right back in battle. Um, not this one because it has a slow slow. Um, it has a slow rotating turret, so you're not going to really use the turret a lot. But plus five percent well crew skills can become in handy because it's the last it's the last tank you you have. Um, because it's a tier 10 of course so maybe plus 5% to all crew scans become in handy if you want your d daily double and you want to or, or you want to train your crew because you see here I only have two crew skills because it's just yeah it's another premium tank it's just uh, yeah a tier 10 and that's why it, beca it, uh, it could be handy to use plus 5% to all crew skills um, this, this I highly recommend to not use this skill because it already has a good weight li limit. So why using an extra plus fifty percent to M rank? No, yes, t you. This tank is just a big RD magnet, and it still is a big RD magnet. Everyone wants to kill you first. E one hundred. It's just a such a big tank. Same goes to um, large. So plus twenty five percent to repair skills, and also people track you a lot. They, they. Um, they consider it as a TD more. Uh, of course, this is the mo this is the number one thing you want to have on your tank, a large caliber tank rammer, because plus 10% to load speed be can become really handy because it only has three wounds per minute. Oops, sorry, and the two seconds can save your life. Um, plus 10% to aiming speed it has a pretty good aiming speed but I recommend for you if you have a spot open you can use this um, um, camouflage net is pretty handy also because it's pretty bad and if you want to hide you a little bit camouflage net can, can become pretty good and also how to set up your ammunition types this gun has a low penetration um, against other other tier tens, it has a really low penetration. So um, HE shells take a lot of HE shells, and also the special thing about HE shells is they can penetrate uh, more armor but do less damage. But they do really high damage if the if the penetration is really low. So if you have a tank here, what has less than 100 millimeters, like in the sides or in the back, you you do like. 2000 damage on him that is just insane how much damage it does. 
I saw people one shotting just with E1 homes because they were were, were uh, using HE shells and also one golden shell in case of emergency and a couple of AP shells. Um, you might use the 100 octane gasoline because that engine power can save your life because uh, it has a, a, a low speed and everyone wants to kill you so you just want to yeah speed up your tank and try to escape as fast as possible so plus five percent can become an enemy. no what are the best crew skills you want to use um, camouflage of course and repair skills is the best thing bottles and arms I don't really recommend it for you um, not really not really much of the, this maybe this one six cents is always pretty good to use um, Armor of course is one thing you want to have for this tank. The 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 accuracy is pretty good on this gun and you you might want to use armor also so you don't have to waste three thousand credits on the repair kit. Um of course this thing is so heavy and controlled impact makes even your ram damage more like I, I've seen i7 twice to crash in me and I did like 600 damage to him and he did like 150 damage to me not more uh, so this is quite handy to use um, and also relaying nah maybe extended few few range but I Maybe it's better to choose one of these here for your tank. And also this this one, Edwin Uh This tank already has lots of weak spawns, uh, a lot of um, hit points. So 270 is your maximum to use uh, Edwin Rush, and the 10% extra reload ta time can can save your life. Um, and institution of course also because it's a long reloading gun and also here institution so I uh, I maximum my chance of changing shells um, but not much about to say in this battle I I want to you oh yeah also the weak spots of course here is a weak spot here's a weak spot and here are the we uh, big weak spot also and the gun is pretty Maybe this this here the 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 spot here between the turret is non slow this you see. So if you are a pretty good sniper you can maybe hit it here between the turret and its tracks. So not much to say of and also a weak spot here and if you have a bad gun you might bones off the back or the sides. So if you have a like a tier eight minus gun you m might want to sh sh shoot here and you have a chance to hit him and of course here if I don't set that earlier um, but that's the one did in the garage and I'll be right back and see you in the battle hi and this is the battle and um, more about this tank um, how it feels in the battle is that this tank is great for using in clan wars if you use gold of course not don't use AP shells this gun is such a great tank for using in clan wars um, because if it shoots gold it can do like um, thousand damage if, if it has low armor like those bad jets um, but also uh, what more um, <laughs> So like you see here, you, uh, I'm platooning with a clan mate also. I was born ready. Um, and this gun is just a big early magnet, and I have to replay. I had to replay, sorry. Um, but what? In this one, I got like 1200 XP, I think. And in the other gameplay, I had 11, um, 11, 1100. Come 1150 uh, XP, sorry for the Dutch part. I'm Dutch, not English, that's why I suck in English talking. Um, but like you see, I think, and also try to hide your weak spots. I think I uh, try to hide my weak spots here. Um, this is the more interest gameplay. I have a gameplay with more XP, but, but I just stand it still and, st and stood camping against the hill. And Ardy did a pretty good job taking out that M40 and M12 and M12, sorry. 
Suck it down. Boom! 850, 800, 840 damage is just this gun is so, so big and also the new songs are pretty awesome for the stack just like boom like you're shooting mini nukes um Fasten your seat belts. If you slap your back to and I actually gun. am ragged an ice tree and that's that I just I was like oh my god I, I am ragged an M3 and like you see here he entered in my tracks because um most of the guns would come, yeah, m most people would come penetrate you try to shoot you in the tracks and that's why I say like using maybe that box of repair uh, the box the box of repair kit and maybe also use uh, the repair skills and that I street it now. And if you see it in free camera, I think vroom, vroom, we might see that he yeah, actually. You oh, he hell. didn't. He shot. He shot me in the sides. Most people try to aim for your hill. That's why I say try to cover your hill. And also try to slope your tank. You have 130 millimeters on your sides. Please, God, slope your tank. Try to slope it. I mean. Um, Yes, the badger. That badger was stalking uh, my my uh, platoon mate, so I shot him, and he was like, "Oh my, um, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for that." And most people say they hate it, but if you know, please, if you know how to play this tank, this this tank is so awesome. You just there's just three big things you have to know for this tank try to slope your tank try to hide your hill and don't expose to art artillery because it's just a big army magnet and this video might be short Mo more about to say if you if you want to ch um, view another watch another strategy series please check out Swiss Malter or something like that I don't have much to say about this tank they're just those three things you must know. And uh, uh, you have also the mouse, but I don't really like the mouse because it's even more bigger and it has um, the stock gun, not that big gun here of the E1 on it. But the mouse, of course, has a has a more armor and also it has. Um, it has a, a mu much smaller weak spots um, because the tracks are in front of the weak spots. But I'll be right back and a, and see you in a bell in a garage. I mean. So here we go. This this review was not really good because there are just three things I I mentioned a lot in the video. Um, those three things, but. This is one of my bad reviews, but um, the immigration rules, so you can choose a tank for my garage. Um, every tank except the 282 here, because I just used this uh, used this tank to platoon with uh, a schoolmate uh, because he has uh, lower tiers. Um, but red tanks already reviewed. Th these two tanks are already reviewed. This tank is not reviewed yet. It I have a review of it, but it is in a test server, so I don't really know how much the stat changed. Uh, Low tractor, <laughs> don't choose it either. Um, Leopard, I don't like this tank, so I'm not doing a, an, a review of it because I still don't know how to play this tank. Panther 2 reviewed, E100 just reviewed, AMX 3090 reviewed, AMX 51 and 20 is not reviewed yet. T52, I've, uh, I've ace tank on this tank, so. You might choose this one. T54 reviewed, KV2 reviewed, R7 reviewed, and the Opiac 261 not yet reviewed. So here we go. And I'll see you next week. Bye.